to do with positivity and try and he tries to spread that with the music that he produces that's really simple i see how long you been doing this um since 2014 so i'm shy of 10 years shy of 10 years years, like two more years to 10 years or eight i see interesting so hmm and what inspired you to start producing? What was that for? And what was that first break you had? Um, for me, it was just music. I've always loved music mm. as a youngin. Like I'd do anything from buy radio sets to be the one in school with the big headphones walking about, even though it was against the rules. So um, around, let's say SS One, that's when I met a friend who was using the production software. Then times it was called Fruity Loops. So you broke rules to break through pretty much okay yeah <laughs> so um after i got a hang of the software after high school when i went to university then i met a couple mentors like talal sangari um um jules panjianov and a few others who more or less helped me shape my sound and like know where to go with uh, music production how to turn it from beat making into production so that's when I learned how to record, mix, and even understand how rollouts work. So around, let's say, 2014, I had my first break for EL. That's when I produced Akba Jack. Then after I joined Villain Sound, songs like Awa, I L H by Papi Kojo, um, You and Me, Joey B, and a few others started coming out. Oh, I see. So that yeah. was you, right? Yeah, pretty much. I was kind of wondering who that was, though. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, 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 okay, all right. I think I sit up some more. All right, man. Yeah. I'm impressed, though, because of man, mm-hmm. these were hits, though. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, what did you inspire your beats? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a question that I'm trying to figure out myself. Uh, normally, I would say mood because it. Like part of a big part of my process is me having this zen, where like there's nothing interrupting my thought flow or anything. I just feel good, so just basically feeling good, being in a good but you environment. But you made hits back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. So why are you behind? <laughs> I mean, I'm not one for the spotlight. Like anybody who knows me, knows I that. never wanted to be in the spotlight but, like, either. Yeah. I still don't like it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I still don't like it, to be honest with you. But uh, if you're born for it, you're just born for it. Yeah, I am. I am. And that's the thing. My style is more or less pioneering change behind the scenes because it's more than just music production or what people think music production is. Mm. I've done everything from helping the artists that I even work with to organize their rollouts, plan their events, even manage them at a point because... Nobody really knows this as much, but I was one of the core managers for La Mem Gang. Even really? started from us organizing their f- their first concert, the Crusade. Yeah. So like even I think I saw that thing. So I was not here though, but I saw yeah. it, I saw it online somewhere. Yeah. So like for me, I've been trying to find ways to pioneer this culture because it's my firm belief that there's more to offer than what's on the soundscape. People think about Ghanaian music, and mm. aside from high life, they limit us to what they feel should be coming out from this side. But there are a lot of young, talented youth that find a fusion between our cultural sounds, high life, Agbaja, Adoa, and infuse it with modern day ch- textures like trap, hip hop, R&B, because we Ghanaians appreciate both sides uh, so, of so the you, coin. So you, you, you kind of like uh, fuse the two? Yeah, fuse the two and also push the movement behind that. Mm, yeah. I see. In that case, you and I need to talk, right? <laughs> Especially how I feel 
I know the assignments here, it's in the mean you walk with me ching fong. You know you're the reason I'm a singing this song. You can be singing like you, me, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, now you, me. In the quank it's what you're in, you me, now you, me, F-U-C-K-I-N-G, now. Maybe we should make up, we don't have to break up, no, no. I assume to your time, now why you're not in tea? And it's in crime, I want to see And then, in Togba I should not be when I get to say One friend me crab in Koda I should be playing with one son of my Koda Koda da baby, it's so me da baby Can you know that bitch, it's so me da bitch Koda da baby, it's so me da baby Can you know that bitch, it's so me da bitch Got me going like Fine one day, save then I go interview you guys. If I tire, say we can't. Oh, I do. Master, what's up? I take you. Master, Master, I don't see take you. Tell me about you. This is you. Who is you? Someone for the day back, back. Say where they chill. We say behind the scenes. That one I don't want to hear. Behind the scenes. Oh, shit. BTS. So which one with the dark vibes? We. Masa, which one is that? You produce this one too? Yes. In the young about one is when I'll come home. God brings them to me. That'd be true though. <laughs> I'm 
A.K.A. Quay Obama, A.K.A. Quay Mandela, A.K.A. Quay Hova, A.K.A. Quay Kuma, A.K.A. My A.K.A.'s got A.K.A.'s. And you're listening to Heavy D and DJ Yoga on Max Evening. 89.7 and go down like gravity, you done know. Jeez! How your life? Wherever the party did, we step clean. Style on a hater, flexing at you. Real nigga shit. Put on for my kings and queens, me only find the time for the greens. Shit. And come up here and do you if it ain't money, nigga, we ain't cool. By the way, I like the hitting with the colors. <laughs> so I, I had the landlord make the feeling to the key. Nowadays, whole city go crazy when I drop that fire. Oh, bitches blowing up a nigga phone, I don't need that. Hey, you know what I mean, that. A boy focused on the mind from the ground like a billionaire. I saw money and bond out there when you're home for me to be chillin' Still ballin', worldwide with it, still to the tip of the ceiling I had me a belly, I can't take a car, man, I don't want him What you want to share, what you want to share I woke up like, holy shit, is that me? Look what I become, cause I stuck these up and said, motherfucker, what you thinking? And you don't got it like the shit, but you watch it. Watch it. I know they watch it. And don't it make sense that your girl already been in time? All right, now, Max, 89.7 here with Kubi, producer, and of course with uh, his artist, Naya. Okay, now, Kubi, talk to me. Um, uh, all these hits, all this, uh, you, know, you know, behind the scenes. Now you you want to come in front of the scenes now? Uh, <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's, it's it's bound to happen anyway. Like he said, mm-hmm. like if you if you're meant for this, you're meant for this. Mm-hmm. And also, the thing is that honestly, a bulk of the work, like a bulk of the work, got not necessarily got in the way of me focusing on putting my face out there more. Right. But like I've always been more interested in the work than the fame, mm-hmm. because those who know know. Those like those who have stories to tell always tell them all the time. There's not a single person who uh, I've come across that can't have something positive to say about the brand Kuvi or what I've done for them. So that's why I take comfort in. That's why I've never been too pressed about the being thing. in the limelight. Yeah, but rather yeah. being in the behind the scenes. It's, yeah. it's all good though. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's my favorite quote? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh, oh interesting. But I'm I'm I am I am I am I am I'm seriously, you know, I've heard several of your hits, but uh, mm-hmm. I mean I had no idea that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if you see somebody rich, I mean, yeah, you know. But, right. Yeah, like, you know, simple, I mean humble, you know, yeah, yeah. behind the scenes, brother, you know what I mean? You um, but, but it's all good though. Yeah. And now you're in front of the scenes. But what I want to know is that I ask this question uh, most of the time. What what makes a song a hit? Hmm. Um that feeling in the room where mm. like everybody knows that they've put in their best work and they can all agree that it is a hit. Or even if it's even if they don't feel or they are not confident, mm. they know it moves you. It's you an see. undeniable. So before you, we get to more of you, if you hear a song and it's, yeah. a, it's a hit in your opinion, would you be able to tell me? That, that's the interesting thing. Uh-huh. Like, half the time, like, half the time, I've some of the songs that I produced surprised me. Like Grind, for example, Vision DJ and AI. Mm. That surprised me because... I knew it was a great song, but I didn't know how the public would receive it. Then a song like Awa that you're playing in the background. Are you this guy? Yeah. <laughs> the thing was that, like, it's always me trying something new because, like, that I was literally the first um, Ghanaian producer to fuse um, 808s or the tra- trap drums with um, Afro beats. So that made me nervous because, like, that's something new. Even what song I, was that? Um, Awa and I late because I even had arguments with Papi Kojo about like what do you call it? whether to add 
808 to his songs because he was nervous. He he wasn't he even asked Joey to call me at a point to take the 808 out, but I stood by it. And now like now everybody's using it one way or the other in their productions. I said, Yoga, I play the Zomika here. Awa. <laughs> <laughs> you this guy. I don't know which one we hate to wait to. That sounds like a doom to shoot this guy. Yeah. Listen, yo. Wait, hey, I'm going to bone your ma at that chick. Girls not doors, so I had it. Shh, no, did they a match it? I'm going to go be your one at that chick. I had you. O bim pigeon kuma a hanchi. A hansho ma a bansi. Papi, I na yet to do we run run to sa. Obuni kidi ya na a hasi. Pina na wasi I'm in a ma tapi. Menum some kuti de wa mafi. Sekun genyan se ni ma bati. You draw sen so I'm in a ma bansi pe. Life is a bitch for me if you go share and yanji day na a hard you day. Well I hey, new guy, but I woke up in a babaji pe. Wa 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 you this guy. A wa wa you this guy. We are live on Facebook here with Kuvi, the producer. Today we're having a great conversation. It's Max evening. It's a Thursday. Normally it's a throwback Thursday. Today we have a person of interest, of course. It's a person of interest because... Swag. It's been behind the scenes. Produced several back-to-back big hits. With alias artists. And of course, I've been coming out as well. Yeah, no, no. Who is the worst artist you've ever worked with? <laughs> uh, I mean, Tell you both for the studio. Both for the studio. You guess if like, I don't record that part. You be who that? Um, the thing is that, like, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't spot, have to. Right? Not even that. I don't have too many subpar stories. So it's ba- basically based on attitude. Okay. So in terms of attitude, it was normally happy because we used to fight a lot. Okay, so, yeah. so had the worst attitude. Um, not the worst necessarily, but at that time he didn't have an understanding of the game because he was like was new to all of this. No, I mean so, at that and time I it was a bad attitude. Yeah. But now like he's going to be such an amazing person because like he's been supportive like in terms of everything that I've done. He will hear like some demos of artists that I worked with or even offer to do verses. So like I have like offers to uh, offers in my back pocket for any up and coming artist that like has promise from Papi more or less. So yeah. So like if anything at all, like it would never be because of work uh, like the the artist talent, but more or less attitude. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. So who would you like to work with? <laughs> that, you, that you have not worked with. That I haven't worked with. I mean I'll let I'll let the divine flow tell. But the the person that I actually enjoy working with right now is this Naya person right beside me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What else? You let the divine flow tell. Yeah, because like I don't I don't like mo- most times when I w- when 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 I have an aim to no, record give me a punchline again. You let the divine flow tell. Eh? <laughs> 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 because most most of the times when I like I'm often surprised to who I work with. Okay. Because I don't really think about who I'm going to work with next. I just know that I want to make great music. That's so, all. That's like all. Your attitude, yeah. though. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of, like, unique. Yeah, it's very rare, you know? Yeah, yeah my for like, lamb, like, too much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not into for them. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. But anyway, so this is who you're working with right now, Naya. Yeah. What is so unique about her? Mm, can she talk for herself? No, you talk for her first. <laughs> you're the producer, right? Before, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll talk to her, yes. I mean, for me, um, her work ethic, that's paramount to any and everything. Her constant thirst for improvement. She she will start out as a songwriter, then before you know it, she's actually doing some... Bring it down oh. to pigeon or tree <laughs> or... Okay, well, uh, she the first, she the first one. Anytime she didn't enter studio, like... The day on time. On time. Uh-huh. Probably, probably the last person to leave the studio. Mm. Yeah, we like she's into everything from the making of the music to how it's released, even to how the artwork for the She takes the craft seriously. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Now that I know that she takes it seriously, I open the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, how are you? Uh, how are you doing? And that's yeah, all yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. How are you, Heavy D? How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I guys. like the name that you use. It is it because of the rapper Heavy D? Yeah, you know, I got it from that side. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, you you know. listen to his music a lot. Or? I used to rap it back in the days, you know. So oh, okay. yeah, it just got stuck. I'm trying to. Do Throw it away. People don't want to take it away, so I wear my fantasy hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Naya, tell me about Naya. How did you get involved with that, Kuri, to begin with? Um, funny enough, you just played one of the songs that is connected to our story because I actually found out about Kuri from the time that I heard um, Tomorrow by Darko Vibes. Mm. Um, somebody who was a friend of mine at the time, he sent me some new music that was coming out of Ghana at the time I was in Toronto, Canada. Mm. And uh, he's like... T-Dot! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Represent. So he played the song for me and I was like, yo, like, who did this? And I started researching and I see Kuvi. I'm like, who's this Kuvi guy? And then I searched him up, found him on Instagram. And I always clown him for this. <laughs> And I'm putting it on the record that Kuvi just dug me. He didn't even mind me when I sent him the DM. Uh, from yeah, where? yeah, like I sent him an Instagram DM saying hi, like you know, I really love your music, and I'm not Don't playing. Mind like, ah, like more than like three months before this guy replied. I was working. And that, <laughs> nah, that's 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 a bad excuse. So, <laughs> wait, are you here now or are you still in Toronto? Uh, no, I'm based here. Okay, good. I'm based here. Mm. So that was literally how we connected. Then I started sending some, him some of my music and then we started working together gradually. Then when I came to Ghana, that's when pretty much the, the magic started. I actually wasted a lot of my time with people who weren't serious, but it was always something that was acknowledged by Kuvi that he saw something in me and that's what made me feel special and since the time that he saw that and saw the vision, we've been creating such beautiful music together and planning out such amazing vision. So I'm thankful and grateful for that. So you were in Toronto, you lived, were you born there? Or? Yeah, I was born there. You moved to Ghana how long ago? Um, that was 2019, like around November. By the pandemic time? Yeah, literally. That's, That's why it's so funny because literally from the time of the pandemic, I didn't leave, I haven't left. Yeah, you're still here. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so how do you, how you like it here, though? Like I love it. I mean, Ghana is home. So even through all the chaos, even in Accra especially, mm. I, I see the vision ahead of what people might see that I understand will discourage them. But they should trust that most of us, especially a lot of our people out there, they see it too. And they're slowly making moves here. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good time to be here. <sighs> I'm inspired already. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good story right there. Let's hear one of your tracks and then we'll get back to you. Nah, here okay. we go. Let's go. Oh, 
Mark 69.7 here with Naya and of course with producer Kuvi. All right, so tell me, um, uh, Naya, so then you hear doing music and uh, is it an album? Is it an EP? What is it? Um, basically, it's a series. It's an EP series. Mm. And I decided to give listeners a different type of experience where they get to taste different sides and different feels from each EP. And that's why I decided to cut it into three volumes. Mm. So really, you're getting a full album because by the time I do the third volume in total, I would have released 12 songs mm. before the beginning of next year. Four of each? Yeah. Wow. What, how, what did you fuse in this one here, Kubi? Oh, this one was Tubani. Yeah, Tubani, Tubani music. music. Shout out to Tubani yeah. music. From Kumase, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, he basically added the 808. He used bass to... We also get, got a live basis to play on top of it yeah so like we just it, the whole mo was just to give it that authentic old school highlight yeah. feel with yeah, a modern o- touch o- vibe in it. yeah so o- vibe. yeah that's my hometown so <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Max 89.7 of them here with uh, Makubi and Denaya yeah, and it's good. Yeah, me gonna love you four ways. I know, baby, girl, you love it sideways. You say, give me, give me, give me all day. You call me winner and you give me eye praise, you know. Yeah, me gonna love you four ways. I know, baby, girl, you love it sideways. You say, give me, give me, give me all day. You call me winner and you give me eye praise, you know. You be sweet all the day. You did my mind like a sweet memory. And you can wash all the pain all away Like the rain in a sweet man of tears You be sweet, you be sweet holiday You do my mind like a sweet man of tears And you can wash all the pain all away Like the rain in a sweet man of tears Can we hear your voice? Just singing in the silence I don't know if I'm in no be easy when you're deep in it, I'm climbing it I'll go find you when you're lost in it If I'm on me, if I'm on me, eh Baby, go ball at your name. For my man, for my man, eh. Ah, yeah. Holiday, you did my mind like a sweet memory. And you did wash all the pain all away. Yeah. Like the rain in a sweet melody. You be sweet, you be sweet holiday. You did my mind like a sweet memory. And you did wash all the pain all away. Yeah. Oh, bend over, bend over. Is it a bend over? Oh, bend over. Is it a bend over? Oh, bend over. Is it a bend over? Oh, bend over. I wanna feel love for you, baby. Yeah, me gonna love you four ways. You know, baby, yeah, you love it sideways. You say, gimme, gimme, gimme all day. You call me winner and you give me a praise. You know, yeah, me gonna love you four ways. You know, baby, yeah, you love it sideways. You say, gimme, gimme, gimme all day. You call me winner and you give me a praise. You know. You be sweet all the day. You did my mind like a sweet memory. And you did wash all the pain all away. Like the rain in a sweet melody. You be sweet, you be sweet holiday. You did my mind like a sweet memory. And you did wash all the pain all away. Like the rain in a sweet melody, you know. I tell you what. There are three reasons why. Three reasons, in my opinion, all right? Why, um, um, why I love this artist and her music. One, she's unique. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, unique and original. Original originality here means in my in my in my uh, ex- uh, you know, definition or in this context simply means that be your tune you be your sound to say the way I record in the TBI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, go tight tune you more. Or to the live studio. <laughs> 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 
None of that. We're not embarrassing you guys. I said, no, maybe, maybe come as you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe come as you. I'm there for you, fam. Now I can't jump on some bike, Allah. What's it? You can't tell them. What's it? 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 <laughs> no, I'm so. I'm going to pretend to massage the till I don't tell you know it's really, 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 He's been realistic with you, and I'm still waiting for his third point, though. <laughs> Just two, and we're overwhelmed already. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I think the third, the third one is, um, you know, your sense of humor, basically. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, I know I stiff, not well. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, musically, in the end, they are fun in that. Oh, just uh, yes, having an uh, attitude, you. Yes, <laughs> you know, really, really good, man. Wow. Three more tracks from the um, from the um, the is it EP? What's the title? It's called Euphoria. This is Volume Two. Euphoria Volume Two. Yes. <laughs> your music um, most of it comes from my emotions or experiences that I can relate to or that I've actually experienced on my own that I like to share with people I feel like when you're sharing your own personal experiences it makes it easier to connect with people because they understand that you're human too and you can read them like in the sense where you're not alone in this they understand that we also have these type of experiences in life so that's what i feel makes it raw and organic so even when i listen to a beat if i feel a certain emotion from it maybe that's not how i'm feeling at the time let's say but even how the beat sounds it speaks to me so i'll try to connect with that energy and emotion to create the song that i feel fits that vibe and sound <laughs> That's interesting, <laughs> and and, and um, that's what inspires you, basically. Yeah. And um, what about in terms of stage, your stagecraft? I mean, are you looking to be on stage? Have you been on several stages here, or? Oh, definitely. I feel like I haven't made enough time because I literally live in the studio. I'm a studio rat, so I've just been so focused on just how they will say perfecting is sound even though there's always room for something to change or transition but just being comfortable like in my element has been the main thing i've been focused on but i've done a few performances already i've actually performed in osu before i performed in quite a few other areas as well but it's just i want to make more time for that because i want to be able to engage with my fans too so i'm working on doing more of the shows definitely um, for the ending of the year and for next year as well. Did you um, always wanted to do music? Um, funny enough, I've I've literally lived through music my whole life. Like my mom said, when I was actually a baby, I used to cry a lot. Like that was the thing that they knew about me. Even though I was cute and I was nice and quiet, I used to cry. <laughs> but she said that you're still so cute though, but not nice <laughs> and quiet. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm flattered. But yeah, like she said that if she played music from the radio and I liked it, I was quiet. She said that I'll go right to sleep. So it's almost as if that was what gave her the affirmation that music lives to me. And not to mention my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, like my whole family. 
they're all music fans, like big music lovers. So I picked up all these type of sounds of music and love for music to them, to be honest. Even though there's no musicians in my family, we all love music. And that's pretty much what woke up that spirit of me wanting to pursue music later on in life. I see. Any one particular musician who you listened to growing up, male or female? So many. But anyone that stands out, one or two at least. Oh, definitely. If we're talking... Um, 80s R&B, Anita Baker, Patti LaBelle. Um, for 90s, it would be Brandy, Tony Braxton. Um, if it's the guys, definitely Maxwell, um, Usher, um, Genuine, so many people. Um, and for High Life, I've listened to so much High Life with my mom and my dad. You know, um, um, CK Man, I believe that was his name. Um, Al- oh, it's cool. Alaji K from Pong. So many, so the much music. They call it. <laughs> <laughs> so many artists. You are saying legend, dude. <laughs> and don't forget, don't forget that I really love the 2006 era. So I was a big fan of um, Ofoyan Ponsa, Keke Fosu, Kofinti, Baroski, like that whole crew. Like I used to listen to them all the time, like religiously. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I listen to a lot of music. I I will sit here and name so many people if I continue. <laughs> I mean, I'm blown away by the names you're calling, though, because they are the usual. I said, I'm very... Oh, my sister used to listen to that religiously. Kofinti, Ofori, Kwesi P, Kofi B, God rest his soul. So many people. So, like, I grew up literally in a music house. <laughs> mm. So what are your plans for um, for the future, very near future, in terms of um, what does Naya want to do if she gets successful musically? Successful musically is a blessing because I really want to be able to reach out and do my part for the future generations to come. I feel like when you're a public figure, you should take advantage of that kind of power. I feel like people dispose of it and they don't see the value in it sometimes. They get caught up in the mix of things. And I understand because it's a lot of attention and so much that goes on when you're an artist, people that give you that kind of attention, it gets to you. So you have to kind of steer forward and that's where I am right now. I wanna contribute to, especially the development in my country and just helping the youth to see a brighter future here and hopefully Africa worldwide. You're a studio rat, so you, you spend most of the time in the studio. Yes. But I'm sure you're abreast <laughs> with everything that's happening in the world right now. As far as uh, being a musician, when you become um, who you want to become in the future, what do you plan on doing for um, the youth of this country? For the youth, I'm just looking forward to creating certain programs. You know, I feel like there's so many intelligent kids that are not being exposed in Ghana that I find out about on social media, but then maybe they're not getting the opportunity. So perhaps creating a certain curriculum to acknowledge that or certain foundations or programs that will help expose and contribute and invest in their talents because they all deserve that. I feel like that's not done enough because we're so fixed on what kids should do to make money considering their environment rather than what they really are dear to and passionate about. That can still make them money, but they love what they do. Mm. I said on Saturday on, uh, on my other show, Reggae Cafe, I said that uh, one month's profession is another month's hobby. <laughs> exactly. You know, yeah. would you consider music a hobby or profession? It's officially my profession now, but I get what you're saying because I actually come from a technical background. I actually studied IT before I got into music full-time, and I worked in the IT industry for more than six, seven years, actually. So I made a huge segue into music and entertainment, but I knew that it was right for me. It was a calling for me, so... I see. Me, it's my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now, how can we find you online? Oh, on all socials, I'm there. Twitter, IG, TikTok, and it's I-A-M underscore N-Y-A underscore Naya, N-Y-A. I-A-M underscore N-Y-A. Check me out. Make sure you guys get a chance to check out my new EP. It dropped, and it's called Euphoria Volume 2. It's on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Boomplay, Apple Music. Check me out. I see. Which co- collaborations have you? Oh, I mean, for the this tape, actually, I have one collaboration with also an amazing artist. His name is Avit. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, but we Avit. have a song on there called Deeper, and a lot of people really love that song. Avit? Yes. Avit. Yes. Spelled how? It's A-V-I-T. 
It's a guy. Avit. Yeah. Okay. Avit. Avit. That's a song. <laughs> you produce this one. Yes, could we produce this one? Make up for Baby, cool down now. I go hold you down now. Baby, no more pain, no. I go heal your wound, no. Baby, cool down now. I go hold you down now. Forget the other girl, no. It be only me, you need to know. I go do all to show you the real love, no. Woman like me, oh, no. I swear no one day like me, oh, no. Baby, make you see, oh, no. Your fantasy, oh no, I'll be your fantasy, oh. So baby, go deep, oh no. I, I, I wanna go deep with you. I, I, I wanna go deep with you. I'll be your fantasy, oh no. Yeah. I go show you the way, no. Woman like me, oh. Cause vibration every time you want my mind, oh yeah. Thoughts of you cool me down when I'm feeling high, oh yeah. You be my fantasy, oh yo. Forget the jealousy, oh yo. I speak like Hunter, you go see, oh oh oh. oh. One soft touch make a brother feel it fine, writing songs like I'm Bob Dylan. Sipping on the wine while we all chilling. You kissing on the ice while you watching me. I know you've been thinking bad things. My slow kissing in you so commanding. You all chop your back, I push it back in. Go deeper and deep till I hit the back end. I, I, I wanna go deeper with you. I, I, I wanna go My name's Quay Kuti, a.k.a. Quay Obama, a.k.a. Quay Mandela, a.k.a. Quay Hova, a.k.a. Quay Huma, a.k.a. My a.k.a.'s got a.k.a.'s. And you listen to Heavy B and DJ Yoga on Max Evening. 89.7, it goes down like that when you're done now. Jeez. All right, now we'll take five phone calls, all right? Okay, now y'all know the deal. Baby, cool down now. I go hold you down now. You heard it speak. I you heard it songs. Down. Baby, cool. Now, maybe someone, they were far, they were far. Five. Okay. Call us. Oh, Out of five, it's a three, seven, five. Oh, no. Maybe you said, I fear you. Oh. I want to hear from you out there. Oh, no. Five callers. Oh, no one day like me. Now, Kubi is here after the after, yeah, after conversation. You have his um, social media handles and his uh, contact out there in case you want to get that uh, production going on. Oh, no. All right. So yes, call now, okay, now is here, and you never find an info. Zero to zero, one eight two five two five two. Or zero five five zero zero five 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 two two. Cause every time. Now those of you sending your songs in for that segment for tomorrow, right? So if you call me down when I'm yes, I'm why. Give me my yes, simple part. Fuck it. Some of the songs really come with the, really the bag. No challenge. Oh. Oh. What's up? All right. Zero to zero. One, eight, two, five, two, five, two. Seven. Every five, nine, five. Oh, chilling. Kissing on the ice while you're watching me. Or zero, five, seven, nine, three, zero, 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 two, five. Think you're out. Or zero, five, five, zero. Go deep. Zero, five, 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 two, two. I want to go deep with you. I, I, I want to go Boy, I'm a fan. I say, 0550 or 020 182. Yeah, hello, good evening. Good evening. Evening, your name? Yeah, uh, that was my name, yeah. Okay, calling from? Come on, TMU. 
TMA in the building. Okay. Presented. Yeah, TMA. All right, go ahead. Um, well, I've known um, Korean now for quite a long time, and I think, you know, for their production and, you know, what it's worth with the music they put out there, I think, you know, it's already, you know, they're already on the path to, so for sure, 100%. They are getting there, and it's going to be a massive hit for everyone who's not watching out for her. Okay, as far as I'm you know, tell me, we be sad as him. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Oh, for the affair. I'm a grab a camera, fuck a send that in the wind. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I'm very well. I know I don't know. I tell you, I don't know why. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much, why? Okay. Have a fun as ever. Here with Nile, of course, super producer Kuvi. We're honored to have them both here this evening. It's always an honor and a pleasure to have great artists and great producers come through. All right, caller number two. Have a fun as ever. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, yes, yes, your name. Yeah, 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 discipline. What's up? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, dear, I did. Ross, discipline. What, 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 what? I did, I did, I did. I hear you keep longer. What's up? I just do right, so he's not a discipline, no? You know, see. Okay, ever father, ever. Be some daddy, you know? I'm a tea, who do ever father, ever? I don't know what to do. Huh? I can't be a singing woman music. We don't want to go to woman music. Say the people about Jala as a fire, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ross, this is if you're like here, you're going to play Rasta fire for you. I'm a smart time, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you're disqualified. You <laughs> say I'm a fan as ever. Because my bridge is right. heavy. Rasta for you, no more, you're biased too much. Sometimes, there was some tears here. It do have a time, I'm sorry for you, but I'm not sure. I was also moon said there are other people too. They've opened their own. I'm very rash discipline. What does it be? I'm going to meet him. Hello, good evening. Hello? Yes, good evening. Yeah, it is. Your name, please. Bright. Bright. Yeah. Okay, we're going to listen to you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. All right, thank you so much, bye. Oh, because I'm free. Apollonia. Apollonia. All right, cool stuff. Thank you. And that's two out of five. Okay. I don't want to disqualify. I just simply disqualify. I don't want to cry. No, fuck. I just simply go play or rest the fire for you, small time, man. Here with Naya and Dam, uh, super producer Kuvi. Appreciating her talent, that we're just having fun here. And two Tina said, Every father, why dream one? No, afraid. Why? Well, three more callers near call. Two against three. And now three against two. Hello, hi, good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening. My name is George Menza. George Menza, calling from? I'm calling for Apollonia. Okay. All right, what is name? Oh, what is Afakra? Afakra. Afakra. Sa 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 afa umsa. Oh yeah, that's far away. But you live in Apollonia. No. Hey, I'm far so far. Yeah. Where is she from? Umsa. Where is she from? 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 Where is Spin City. Spin City. Spin City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yes, yes, your name, Udin. Uh, hey, what's up? This is Dada Koju. Dada Koju, how far now? Okay. Calling from uh, uh, Great Chile. Great Chile, okay. Where's yeah. Great Chile? Hey, Mata, you meet Tamaria. <laughs> okay. So why don't you go there? Don't go there. We have a travel festival. Okay. We hear you. I found. 
Social media handles, one more time. Let's go. Your social media handles. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, I A M underscore N Y A again. I am underscore N Y A underscore on IG, Twitter, TikTok, Twitchiller. I'm on all of these platforms. You can check me out. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Wavy. Oh, okay, now, Kumi, tell me oh. how somebody want to reach you. I go free reach you. Oh, um, Twitter and IG now. Nah. So, Twitter, K U V I E underscore. Then Instagram, Kuvi made it. Kuvi made it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about management, though. Um, are you uh, yeah. signing a uh, twin label? What's going on here? Well, the thing is that my management style has always been based on fair play because me and the artist have a mutual agreement on the percentages and my role and what like a I split deserve. Sheet? Split sheets too, but that's more for production. Mm. Yeah, like if I have produced for them, but. When it comes to management, it, we normally wait till we start earning before we start flipping off. Mm. Because um, with La Mem Gang, we were already forming the structure and we already had a fair idea of how everybody gets paid fairly. So mm. that is what we stuck by. I've never managed an artist who it would seemingly take advantage for me because my dad told me that even contracts can be broken. It depends on how the relationship you have and how much trust so right now we are also we've also set up a company called bandwagon which will be our corporate front for the management and rollouts and all the other things that have to do with the marketing and business aspect of the music industry that's where we'll be passing artists through and i believe that the value that i'm bringing to the table will be respected because I'm only working with like-minded artists. Anybody who is away from the agenda is away from me. But anybody who has the same mind to build a sustainable yeah. culture for artists, young artists to thrive and grow, that's what I'm representing. Mm -hmm. So it's never been about working with somebody that I'll have to look over my shoulder at all. No. You've had a pretty cool career, though. <laughs> we thank I mean, God. We thank God. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. What's What's that thing that keeps you grounded? I'm, I'm. You know, it's like you're grounded. You know, because the way our brothers are just bubble. Oh, yeah. Why? Why? I chalk it. You remind me of myself. I mean, me A very, very big compliment. Thank you. Yeah. Um. The thing is that I mean. Aside from my upbringing, shout out to Davi Stella and Uncle Ben. Um, shout out to who? Davi Stella, my mom. Davi Stella? Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. So, yeah. Davi Stella. Hey, hey. Davi Stella. On the You, mom. And number, and number one. So, the Afaho. So, obviously, you know that number nine upbringing. You can't mess around like that. But also, it's just hmm. karma. Knowing, and, and not even looking for my karmic reward but like just knowing that i need to put good energy to receive good energy and it's not been the smoothest journey but like it's been amazing knowing that at least for all the good that has been done god is by my side so like yeah, it's just okay putting out good energy that's what's important for me and that was still like me and Ram that's what I've been interested in that was still like <laughs> so, <laughs> I see where in the water um um Usuta Usuta where yeah. is that um it's after Vakbo but my family house is Tokbeta so okay Vakbo yeah oh that's where 7-7 seven, seven is from yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Charlie, you know I see you yeah, well. <laughs> uh, I see David David Stella yeah. mm. I see so that was what really shaped you yeah because you are grounded though. it's real yeah and also uh, and, and and my support system because everybody that I work with and I have a good relationship with also believes in the same thing Mm. Because even when Naya, for example, like, even when she's around things that normally artists are not around and that might possibly put me in a bad space, 
she goes out of her way to remind me that there's no better way to approach it than anything that would lead to a positive outcome you don't go into something and leave with a problem you always either add a solution or you back you back out if you have nothing positive mm-hmm. positive to contribute so like my support system makes it easy for me to be who i need to be mm-hmm. well, i see oh, he's lying he's not always i look forward to, i look forward to see more of you <laughs> she said i'm lying He's not, always, he's not always grounded. Are they or are they front then? Sometimes he he does some styles. Don't mind him. Uh, okay. Well, See, I'm about to like say I was. Yeah, the, that was. Yeah. Huh? I mean, like, uh, normally just just standing up for what I believe in or fair treatment. When he has or, to attack, he will attack. Yeah, that's, but that's how if aside from that, if it doesn't have to do with um, standing and protecting my and the interest of my team then we are good yeah yeah, yeah but if they come against more than oh uh, you just yeah, you'll pop off uh, you go flip it this, this smile will disappear immediately <laughs> uh, <I see. laughs> it's funny you know, just see my brother i have brother with that uh, 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 you guys are see. They like you know. <laughs> <laughs> they like you know when business come where you take place more or you won't take integrity <laughs> place more you 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 get it you know what i, I like that. <laughs> hey yoga why you didn't take part of society uh, <laughs> hey yoga is my like he's my bro too like he's been like he's been there he's been there uh, the he says so. yeah. <laughs> yes yoga yoga <laughs> big yoga <laughs> we do a day like that you know low-key you know no be too much attention just getting the work done you know <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, speaking of which, I think my topic tomorrow is on attention seekers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all just gave me a topic for tomorrow's show. Anyway, Max, you think it is? It's been a great time with you. Um, uh, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you oh, thank for having, having us. Me. We really appreciate it. No, I appreciate you for coming through, man. This is like Heavy home, tea. man. Next time, you don't even have to, you know, just show up. Like, you know. Oh, we'll yeah, definitely yeah. do that. We'll yeah, show up, man. We're family. Yeah, I'm going to play a song for uh, oh. David Stella, okay? Hey, okay. hey, hey really? Okay. Huh? Hey. okay. Let's let's hear it. Hold on, dude. Yes, <laughs> we Send a shout out to a friend I love one tonight. Go ahead. I'm starting with you, Naya. Send my love to all of my loved ones that have tuned in today, especially my mother and my father. Love you guys to death. Everybody that actually tuned in on my IG live as well. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. All my family, all of my friends abroad. Love you guys to death. Everybody based here in this crazy Accra, you know who you are. You're special to me. You guys have been behind me since I started the journey. And I'm just so thankful for all of that love from Accra to Toronto. Big ups to all of you guys. God bless you. Gooby. Well, go on. 
Yeah. Who you want to send a shout out to apart from me? <laughs> <laughs> well, Big Heavy D, first of all. Then my family, my friends, my support system, the artists that I've worked with, and everybody who's been a part of the journey, and my fans especially. The most loyal, most forgiving, most supportive fan base to to be there to even know all the artists that I've worked with from mainstream to up and coming. Big love to y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. More coming your way, Max 89.7. This is Max Evening. More music coming your way. Also, we're going to be uh, weighing in on the uh, tiny Stone Boy Bruaha. Other matters to come today. 904, I'm here till 10. Don't touch your dial. I do love my mind.